Hello again folks, in tonight's video I'm going to be repairing my Razer mouse. This is the Naga 2014 and my particular one has developed a fault whereby it randomly disconnects itself from the PC, usually when I'm gaming of course, um, and then about 5 or 10 seconds uh, appears to reconnect itself. Um, it's really frustrating, it's totally random, uh, you know it doesn't happen every hour or anything like that, it just totally randomly happens and it's becoming quite frustrating. So I did a little bit of googling and I found, I think on Reddit, uh, an individual who had the exact same problem and it turned out turned out it was actually a broken wire within the cable. Um, so I think he got the parts, I think he paid about £12 for the cable and it, it did resolve the problem. But of course I'm a bit of a tight get so I went for the cheapest available option and did some digging about on uh, AliExpress and such like and managed indeed to get... Uh, a spare cable and spare stickers for the bottom. Now I have previously opened this up as you can see the little Teflon stickers there that, that glide the mouse around the pad um, are a little bit lumpy, they do still work but um, I opened this up to give it a deep clean um, because it was just full of gunk and stuff um, so yeah I thought it'd be if I could get the spares I would replace those two and I did indeed manage to get spares of those as well as you can see here so we've got nice fresh ones to go on and indeed a spare set but this arrived today this is the replacement cable i'm presuming it is it's the only cable i've purchased um replacement cable two dollars 87 including delivery so let's open this up and have a look of course taking care not to cut the cable as that's probably what the problem is just now anyway so There is the SQ code if you're interested. Yeah, this was yeah two dollars eighty seven for the cable and the stickers were one dollar forty five. Now let's compare the cable to what we've got just now. We'll compare the plug initially. So as you can see, hopefully, it is razor branded. And on the other side, I've got that circle with a little dot. The plugs, they're not identical. The original is slightly longer, as you can probably see. The one on the right there uh, is probably about a millimetre longer. And the little indentations are round on the original. So these two little dots here at the very bottom, close to the plastic, they're round compared with sort of rectangular ones on there. But uh, I imagine that's an off-shelf. They won't be making their own, you know, USB plugs themselves. Those will be probably an off-the-shelf part. So I don't know if this is genuine. Uh, the braiding looks very similar. Not identical, but very similar. And it does have the special moulded shape on there to fit it into the mouse. I'm not going to unravel this just now. But just in terms of the the amount of cable, yeah, it does look like the, it's about the same. That You get about two metres of cable with these razor mice, which is quite nice because it gives a, a little bit of flexibility when you're, uh, where you're positioning it. So I'm just going to stick uh, a sharp knife underneath these Teflon stickers and tear them off. And then we'll get it opened and uh, switch over this replacement cable which should hopefully resolve the issue. Now this has got a fibrous um, adhesive material behind it. As you can see that one's come off reasonably cleanly. That one's left the adhesive. So we'll just try and get that. Taking care not to scratch up the plastic. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right, that's two off. And then we'll get that final one off at the bottom. Like so. Uh, it's, as you can see, it's left a little bit of adhesive. I'm just going to use the other side to see if we can just sort of get that off. I've got some isopropyl alcohol if we need it. But this looks like it's doing the job. 
it's actually easier to do this. I find when you use isopropyl alcohol, sometimes it's sort of almost, well, obviously it dissolves the adhesive, but it, it doesn't always remove it. It sometimes just sort of seems to make it a little bit thinner and uh, sort of spreads it across. So, yeah, that's close enough. I'll also take out this little ring here at this point as well. I've never taken this out before, so hopefully it won't be that difficult. Right. That seems to be coming out okay. Just a tiny bit left there. We shall use the same technique. It's not too bad. I'll just use the the very point of the blade here. Just take that final piece out. Obviously you want as much of this adhesive off because um, you want the replacement stickers to be, you know, <clears throat> as flat as possible. Right. Let's get this open. So just four screws, hold the two halves together. I'll pop them out. Um, you know, in this uh, same arrangement as the, do you know what I mean? I'll lay them out as they come out, just in case there's different sizes. As I recall, I think they were all the same size anyway. Certainly looks that way. And then once you've got the screws out, it's simply a case of uh, lifting it up from the bottom and it just uh, pops off like that. Take care here because there is a, an interconnect here. Just quickly disconnect that, and that's to the, the buttons on the top of the, the mouse there. Once you've got that, the sides just lift off like so. And be careful again here because you've got a small ribbon cable which um, connects the uh, numeric keypad on the side. So we'll just lift the zero insertion force connector clip and then just depress it again so we don't uh, accidentally knock it. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got a bit of a cold, I do apologise. Um, that's us into the, the guts of the mouse now. I can't remember if this just lifts off. No, it doesn't. But we can take the these two screws with the um, closest to the back, or the bottom, I should say. I believe that's the two that hold this in place. So we'll take that out like so. And then, as you can see, the board has been released disconnect the lead and then lift it out like so. Now let's just compare the two uh, two leads. Just make sure I've got the same amount of cable available. Um, the replacement actually looks very slightly longer. The connector's the same, the colour is the colours are the same layout. So yeah, I'm pretty certain that's going to do the job. So what I'm going to do now, um, just before I reassemble it, is I'm going to get some isopropyl alcohol and just give the mouse a little bit of a clean. Because all the sweat and dust and everything else from your hands gets into these grooves and makes it a little bit unsightly. So once it's apart, you might as well take the opportunity to, to clean it up. Give it a little bit of a, a service as you will. Look at, look at the colour of that. Okay, so that's the top part done. We'll do the sides here and the back. And we might as well do where the adhesive was to see any final residues off. Like so. The sides now. Like that. This isn't too bad actually. Let's see, it was was before. I've used this for many years. It's a pretty good mouse if you've not uh, heard a razor. I suppose if you're a gamer you probably will have done. But yeah, it's a pretty good uh, bit of kit. <clears throat> okay, right. So we'll get the cable put back in. Where's the other end? There we go. Let's just see how that was routed. So the cable comes in like so, and it, there is a, a provision there for it. Little clips, if you will. 
So we'll pop that to a C. A little bit tight actually. Let me just compare those again. Yeah, it does look a little bit, the moulding's very slightly different, but it's rubber so it should pop in. So let's just give it a bit of a push. There we go, that's us in. And then we'll just route the cable in these uh, grooves and that looks uh, fairly decent. So we'll now take the main board back in and just pop it back in. Like so. We'll take the two screws and get those in place. I'm not going to edit this video down, I, I never do, so please feel free to fast forward it to the, the end if you want to see the, the finished thing. Of course, a pause or whatever, just to, to get the, the actual steps you need. Okay. <clears throat> So, I can't remember if the cable went round the back there or whether it was in there like that. But we'll go with that. Now that popped in there reasonably easily. Um, we'll do this side first with the keypad on it. So I'm just going to lift that zero insertion force connector up. I'm going to slot the cable in. It sometimes helps just to flatten it back out. Obviously take care because these are quite delicate. And they do have a little blue line, and that's basically, that line shouldn't be visible once it's in the connector. It's a little telltale thing. So there we go, and as you can see, that black line is below the, the edge of the connector. Then we're just going to set the um, side back on, like so. And we'll take this side that doesn't have uh, any wires on. And set that in, and as you can see... Oops, let's take my back off. As you can see, that um, where the cable has been routed is not going to cause us any problems whatsoever. It's just going to be pushed down there by the top cover. So, reverse of how we put it on, we're going to pop that connector in there. Oops. Like so. <clears throat> we're going to Pop that down there, make sure the front clips in, which it does, and then that's us back together. Pop my four screws in. And then once we've done that, we'll get the Teflon feet put on. As you can see, I've broken out the fleece shirt because it's absolutely freezing here in the workshop tonight. Um, it's obviously getting into winter here in the UK. So yeah, that's been broken out. <laughs> okay, get all that bits of paper and that out of the way. And as you can see there, the mouse is looking a little bit cleaner. Um, and we'll get these feet on now. So, take these out of the packet. It does come with a little alcohol wipe as well. If you're looking for these parts, uh, I don't normally link to AliExpress, but I think I will link to the parts um, in the description below, should you require to service your mouse as I am doing now. I'm just going to cut this in half. So that... Um, we can keep the other ones intact and we'll get them put on so just gonna peel them off line them up and that's a really nice fit actually nice and shiny
not quite happy with that one. Didn't quite get it where I wanted it to. It might be easier going in this corner first. That'll do it, close enough. And finally this one here. This is diamond shaped, so I think you can put it in either way. As in it doesn't matter if you get it 180 degrees out, it should still fit. Now those look rather nice and flat. In fact, they don't. I'll show you in just a second. These have actually got what appears to be a protective cover on them. So I'm just going to take that middle piece out, that can be disregarded. I'll pop this in the little recess there. And there we go, jobs are good. So if I just do that, you'll see they have a protective film on them. I thought I had damaged the corner of this one, but it's not, it's a protective film. So we'll just pick those off. Oh yeah, those are glides really well now ah do you know what that's that's fantastic that's working a lot better um it seems to be gliding a lot better than it did previously probably just because they're new um right what i'll do now is i'll just quick briefly pause the video and just verify that it is working catch you in a second right and i'm back uh, yeah the mouse is working perfectly i'll just uh play and stop some royalty free music Yeah, not too bad at all. As you can see there, the uh, Razer logo is fading in and out, breathing, if you will. Uh, yeah, love this mouth, mouse. It's got the keypad on the side. You can assign different commands to it to bring up browsers. For instance, uh, my button one uh, takes me to Spotify. Um, so if I just want music, and I can just press that and it brings up my Spotify account. Um, you know, you can do it pretty much anything, keyboard macros, launch programs, uh, various different things. Really good mouse. Um, definitely uh, worth the money, I would say. Uh, of course, it's not cheap, but uh, and of course, I, I don't think they even make this one anymore, but there, there probably is an equivalent available from Razer. Right, that was a lot longer than I had anticipated it being. Apologies if it did drag on, but like I say, you can just skip to the, the relevant parts to do it. But that was a nice, uh, easy fix. Um, the cable, I should mention, is the same length, which is quite nice. Um, good quality braided cable. Um, I have no doubts that, that that will last me for, for many years to come now. And I now know that I can purchase one for... Well, that entire repair probably cost about £3, including delivery. And when you consider that that mouse, I think, probably originally was about £70 or something like that. You know, that, that's, that's brilliant that you can repair it so cheaply. So, yeah. Thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you found it useful. If you did, give me the thumbs up. If you didn't, give me the thumbs down. If you haven't already done so and you'd like to do so, or like to consider doing so, click on my fat head down here to subscribe. And until next time, as always, take care of yourselves and all the best.